Hey, this is Rene. Welcome back to another video. And today I want to answer the question if uh, you should trade in December. Because this is uh, something traders usually are wondering at the end of a year. And um, it is pretty much really often said that trading in December does not make sense because there are a lot of uh, holidays and traders are uh, on vacation and stuff. So there's not a lot of um, trading activity in the markets. But um, to figure out if it is still worth trading in uh, December, I will just test this. So the easiest way to figure out if, uh, for example, my own personal strategies work in December, I will just do a back test over multiple years to figure out if um, the December performance is better or worse than the average month. And I mean, this is like the perfect... Um, possibility to figure out if I should um, turn off my automated trading systems in Dece December because as you know I do not trade manually I just use expert advisor for automated trading and it would be easy for me to just turn them off in December and I will figure out if this is necessary. So to figure out if trading in December makes sense I will test two different strategies and the first one is this range breakout EA that I have and that I trade in for example the USD Japanese yen market and this is a breakout strategy. So you can see like in the in the morning of a day we will build this um, time range and when the price jumps above or below the range we will just follow the market trend um, and we do not have a TP we just have this stop loss at the other end of the range. So this is the perfect uh, strategy to test this because this strategy is highly dependent on a lot of um, market volatility I would say because you want this uh, the strong movements like we see here because these are the perfect um, conditions for this strategy and you would expect that this strategy cannot perform in December right when there are no strong movements to be expected so this is just to explain the strategy what I will do now is I will turn off the visual mode and I will test this strategy in USD Japanese yen from uh, starting from 2018 until 2022 so we will have the December of 2018 19 20 and 21 so the last for December's um, yeah I, I do not want to go back too much because I just want like the the last years to um, to have yeah a, a sample of like the the current market situation pretty much and yeah I will just wait until this uh, test is finished and then we will have a look at the result because the meter trader 5 tester gives us the profit and loss for every single month so um, see you at the end of this test. Okay, so here we can see that the first test is finished and there were good months, there were bad months, but the most important thing is what is with, with December. And in MediaTrader 5 tests, the great thing is that you do not only see like these key figures, um, you also see the entries by hours, the entries by weekdays, the entry by month, and the profits by our weekday and month. So what we will have a look at is um, the December, of course. And as you can see here, and this is really like the whole point of the video, December does not uh, have to be a bad month. So you can see, for example, there were months like April, May, where there was barely any profit, or June, where th that was really like... Um, uh, even really negative or September which was break even but there is no significant loss in December and I mean this could be like a uh, could be like completely random but I mean why should I turn off my system or especially this system if it is not performing extremely bad in December at least not for the last a uh, few years. So this is like the first strategy that I wanted to test and this is showing me right now I would say I do not turn off any of my system. So let's have a look at another EA, maybe another market, Euro USD, and this is uh, the scalping project EA that I also have and that I also use in, in, in live trading accounts and um, <clears throat> let's just give it a quick one um, to to show you how the strategy works and then I will do another back test in a non-visual mode of course for faster processing where we'll we will have a look at the December of this specific strategy and yeah so first of all let's have a look at the strategy so the EA loaded um, the program now and you can see this 
um, EA pretty much it places orders at uh, at highs and lows, um, and these orders are then executed. And um, once they are executed, they are managed with an aggressive trailing stop. So this is another strategy which trades breakouts, which needs some movement in the markets. So if this strategy is also working on uh, in December, that this would be a good sign that December is just a month like every other month. But um, yeah, or or at least for for like day trading strategies, it might be different for scalping or for long term swing. Um, sorry, for for swing trade trading strategies where you hold your positions over multiple days. This could be a problem in December if you do not have enough price movement uh, because then you just pay a lot of swap overnight. But yeah, I'm testing in this videos for day trading strategies. So this is how the strategy works. You can see there are small profits and um, yeah, the entry levels are placed at the um, relative highs and lows. I mean, I did another video where I explained this strategy in detail. If you're interested, you can look it up. So now I will just do the single back test for this strategy in Euros dollar starting in 2018 and ending in 2022. So again, we will have the last four Decembers tested here. And I will get back to you with the result as soon as this test is finished. Okay, so the second test is now also finished. Um, I changed the uh, TSL trigger points um, again to 20 because these are the settings that I currently use and I want to have the results, of course, for my settings that I use currently. So here you can see the backtesting results and let's scroll all the way down. And um, yeah, again, we can see that Apparently, the February is really bad. Uh, the EA made a lot of losses in February, but um, for December, it yeah, it doesn't really matter if I trade or if I do not trade. Pretty equal to the November. So I think I mean I only tested like four years, so this could all be kind of random. But this is pretty much the whole point of my video today because I personally. Do not think that the December is um, extremely bad or a extremely bad month to trade. So I, for me personally, I will just trade the EAs that I trade uh, like I always do also in December. So yeah, I do not want this video to be too long. So this is um, just what I wanted to show you that you can use the MetaTrader 5 tester to um, yeah just test in which month your EAs work and in which they do not. Also, you could of course go ahead and for example, test only like the period from uh, starting um, on the 20th of December until the 31 or 31st, I don't know how to how to say. So you, you just have like the um, one or two weeks where all of these holidays are, where you have Christmas, New Year's Eve and stuff like this. So this is another thing you could do. But um, I mean, I think I do not have to do it in this video because this is what you can do. The MetaTrader 5 tester is for free and uh, you can go ahead and for example, just type in here like um, from 20, uh, the 20th of um, December 2018 <clears throat> until the, oh, wait, wait a second, like this, L until the 21st of December. And then you just go ahead, hit the start button in the lower right corner. And as soon as the test is finished, you will see that you either made a profit or a loss. So you can see in 2018, it would even be really bad if I would have turned off the system because it would have made profits over the, uh, over the holidays. So yeah, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Do you trade in December or especially at um, like over over the Christmas days and New Year's Eve, or do you just turn off the systems or turn off your or end your manual trading and just enjoy the holidays? Let me know what you think in the comments, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, have a great time and good trades. Bye bye.